right buddies that was the level 42 classic lessons in love so let's start with the chords on the intro i played e7 to d to c then e7 to d to a7 c and then when the bass comes in i land on a g or, or g i can like it up here so Okay, so that's the chords, and then I added a second guitar with a more kind of uh, rocky sound and just played um, power chords. Put some whammy bar on that, so E5, D5, C5, E5, D5, A5. And then I'm, after the A, power chord, I play a little lick, so F sharp, so I'm on the 7th fret of the B string, bend a semitone to G, release, E on 5, D on 7 on the G string, and then an open G and add a little bit of whammy bow on that and that's when the bass hits. Okay, and then uh, we're into the chords for the song. So we've got a G, B7, E minor, C. Okay, and they go round on the verse. G B7 E minor G B7 C G B7 E minor and then we're into the, the, the chorus. Okay, so just those four chords on the verse. Then we've got the, the A to B. Um, you could play an A minor seven to B minor seven, but I wasn't actually playing anything there. Just pausing on that E minor. And then ba, ba. So for the chorus, I'm just playing C major seven. But we were... A minor 7, B7, we never, E minor, could be C major 7, could be A minor 7, and then we've got a B7 sharp 5, so I'm playing 7 on the E string, 7 on the D string, 8 on the G string, 8 on the B string, lessons in the and then just an E major this time to a D. So it's all the B the D the D do. We never lived in could be better, could be better. Lessons in love. Back into a repeat. Okay, so over that chorus. I was adding in a little bit of muted guitar. So I started with... So what I'm playing there is over the C major seven, got a partial C major seven arpeggio. E, B, C. So, so I'm muting the string with my palm, which is the bottom. I'm just playing E, open B, C back to E. So that's five open one five. It's a little stretch. And then as it hits the A minor seven chord, play the same notes. So So 
So when we hit the B chord, we just move it up two frets to seven, open B, and four. So we've got a B arpeggio, seven, open, four. And then this is the big stretch, where I'm playing for an E minor arpeggio, I'm playing nine, open, four on the G string. So. And then back into that. So I'm playing nine, open, four, nine, open, four. So, you know, it's a big stretch, but I've got little hands, so just a case of practice, you know. Back to the C, same over the A minus seven. And this time when we go to the B7 sharp five chord, I'm not going to seven this time. I'm just going, just moving my little finger down one fret to play D sharp, open B and C. So four, open one. And just playing that a couple of times. So, bah, 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 bah. and then it's a lick kind of finishes it off. So, so, so I play two, four, open, two, four, open, and then two on the D string. A, B, G, A, B, G, E. So. So slowly, and then we finish with going up the scale, E, E, F sharp, E, G, F sharp, A, G, B. So I'm starting on the D string, two, two, four, two, five, four, then two, on the G string to five. So, sorry. And then last note I play a stop on a B. So. So I've got. So it takes a little bit of practice to get there. Because it is quite fast on the record. Something like that. So that's just a nice little muted guitar part that plays under the chorus. Okay, now um, I added a guitar solo and I played that earlier in the track than it actually features so I could just play one kind of verse and chorus and the guitar solo happens after the bridge section. So the bridge section um, we play again the intro. So we go And again, the heavier guitar playing. So we've just got a repeat of the intro there. And then there's less than, uh, so we've got a section which goes from G to F to C to D. Lessons, lessons in blue. When will you ever learn? Ba -ba -bum. This is after the second chorus and the bridge. Just before the guitar solo. So it's those chords G to F to C to D that go around. And then from that we go back into the verse chords for the guitar solo and then back into the chorus. So next let's take a look at the guitar solo. So it's a great little solo and I start on an A on 14 on the G string. Then go to B on 12 on the B string. Slide that to a 
D on 15 on the B string, back to B on 12. Then I'm going D, G, so 15 on B, 15 on E, 14 on the E string. Then because we're hitting a B major chord next, the D now switches to a D sharp, so 16 on the B string. And then land on a B on 16 on the G string. Then I'm bending E on 17 on the B string, upper tone and releasing. Yeah. So slowly. Then we've got So next I'm going B to D to G So So that's 16 on the G string then 15 15 on the B and E strings F sharp on 14 and then again, we switch to a D-sharp on 16. And then we've got... Just bending a B all the way up on 19, up to a C natural on 20. And releasing, just, just a semitone bend. And then just release to a B. So... Okay, and that's the solo, and next we'll take a look at the brilliant bass part. It's a classic bass line, and there's no way I could ever play it as well as Mark King, but it's great practice for the old thumb. So I start on three on the E string, just a G note, and just I'm just playing it. Bum, bum, bum. So one. So I'm just hitting the string and the fretboard together to get that kind of classic funky sound. So. And then I'm playing a G when the verse kicks in. I'm following the chords with arpeggios on the bass. So I'll just go through the notes first. So I start with a G. Bum, ba, ba, bum. Ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, bum. So I'm playing three on the E string, two on the B on the A string, a B note, to D on five, to G on five on the D string. So three, two, five, five. Then we go to a B chord. So I'm playing on the A string two and D sharp one on the D string. F sharp on four and then B on four on the G string. So. And over the E minor chord, I'm playing open E. To G on three. To B on two on the A string to E on two on the D string. And then over the C chord, I start on three on the A string. That's a C, to E on two on the D string, to G on five, to C on five on the G string. And I play that, I keep that rhythm going that I played at the start. And I play that for each note. So I start on the G. Weird playing your thumb so high up, but yeah. Okay. So 
that's the pattern that plays on the verse. And then the last time on the verse, we go just on the E minor. We've got a little lead into the chorus, just A, B. So just playing single notes, A, B. And then for the chorus, I'm playing the same pattern, but different chords. So for the C chord, that's the same, C, E, G, C, three on the A string, two, five on the D string, to five on the G string. And then we go to an A minor chord. So we're basically playing what we played on the E minor chord, but this time starting on the A string. So open A, C on three, E on two on the D string, A on two on the G string. Then to a B, which is the second one we played on the verse, two, one, four, four, starting on the A string, and then an E minor. So again, that's what we played on the verse. Open, three, two, two. So, repeat. And then just, I just played an E, or you could play it here, I think that's where I played it, two, to an open D. So we've got, and then just a, just played a, on the A string, I just slide down the neck to take us into the next verse. Okay, so it's just a case of getting that kind of up to speed. Okay, and then we've got the bridge section. So I'm playing So what I was playing on there is we've got these chords. You could just play or I think he's just playing an E5, so 7 to 9, D5, 5 to 7, and then a C chord, just like we played earlier, 3, 2, 5, C, and then again E to D, um, so and then And then we've got an open A, or A on five. And then I just play and into the verse. So I was playing an A, and then a little run down to take us into um, the kind of bridge section. So the one I played G, F sharp, E, D. section we've got different chords here we've got G to F to C to D but I'm playing exactly the same pattern with the thumb for the G and then on the F I play one open three three so one on the E, e string open A three on A three on D and the C which is three, two, five, five. Then just going up, moving that two frets up to a D arpeggio. Five, four, seven, seven. 
And then we'll just, that, that goes round for the lessons in love, when will you ever learn? Then we're into the guitar solo of the verse and back into the chorus. And that's the song. So, um, great old practice there for the old thumb and a lot of fun to play. So enjoy level 42 and lessons in love. Thanks buddies.